cardboard right here. All right, let's go, let's go. Hi everyone, I'm Melanie, welcome back. This is episode three of Cardboard Crazy. Today we will put into practice the techniques that I went over in episodes one and two of Cardboard Crazy. We will also be using the same image that we used in my mini series about drawing a grid and using a grid to draw an image and enlarging it. You can check out all of those videos below in the comments. What do you need? Here we go again. You need a pencil, an eraser, and a sharpener. You know, I should just say the usual, but not everybody watches all the videos, so that wouldn't be fair. You need an X-Acto knife and a pair of scissors. I'm going to put that ruler over there because we don't need that. You need your image. You also need your cardboard plus your image drawn out onto your cardboard. And you need tracing paper. You can also use parchment paper. I believe that would probably work just as well. So don't despair if you don't have tracing paper. All right, let's get started. What I like to do first is I like to go over my image and kind of, well, actually kind of just ponder on it and think about the areas that I want to cut away to that uh, corrugated cardboard that leaves a really nice texture and the areas that I might want to build up. So I have already thought about that and I'm just going to point out some areas to you. Um, right in here I'm going to cut away and expose the corrugated cardboard and here and here and quite possibly all the way back to here. Then I thought that I might want to build up this area and possibly build up my tables at the cafe. There's quite a few of them. They're all ovals. Um, and I want to cut away to this area where the window is. Right, now it's time to mark the areas that I want to cut away. I think I'm going to put a question mark here. Um, this is where I want to build up, so I'm just going to write the word build. I'm putting it on top of it so it doesn't matter if I write on it or not. I'm going to cut this away, put an X there, and I'm just going to put a B on my ovals. B, B, B. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, I have my very noisy tracing paper and I'm going to put this over my pillar where I will be tracing to make my pattern so that I can cut out my cardboard with a pattern. Now, I don't have to use tracing paper. I could do it, I could just eyeball it, but I'll tell you what, you're making a whole lot more work for yourself. Take it from me. <laughs> so if you do it this way, you can have a more accurate cut. So you can just place them right on there, kind of like puzzle pieces. Here we go. I'm going to do this in sections. I'm not going to do it all in one piece because that wouldn't quite work. So the first part I'm going to do is this pillar. And it's probably easier to see in my image, this pillar right here. I'm going to build that up. And then I'm going to build this up and maybe, well, probably this too. It might look funny if I don't. Um, and then I will leave this, uh, the, just the cardboard, and make that dark. B, 
because that'll help it look like it's going in. I could build all of these sections up. I could make this and then this square on top. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to make a square here and then could build this up, but I think I want to cut away at that. So I'm going to make it just one square and then I will cut into that and make another square. So I've finished drawing out all of my different shapes for my pattern for my pillar. And now I need to cut those out and then I'm going to put them onto the cardboard <laughs> and trace around them on the cardboard. And then I will be able to cut out those pieces so that they will be ready to be glued onto my pillow. All right, I've cut out the pattern for my pillar, and now I need to trace it. I have cut out my pieces. I didn't think you needed to see me do that. So I'm going to just put them on here and place them on there. I'm not going to glue them down yet. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I want to glue them down before I add color to them or if I want to do that after. So I'm going to put them on like this. And I also have another piece I may add. So that's what it's going to look like. Now there's one little section here on this that I want to cut out a little bit the paper for the uh, cardboard to be exposed. So this is going to be a little dicey because it's very tiny. It doesn't look like much now, but you can see how it starts to raise it up and uh, looks very nice. We have our cute little squares here. And now, since we have a little bit of an example of how to build up your cardboard, make kind of a relief sculpture, we are now going to remove those and over there. We're now going to reveal some of that corrugated cardboard underneath that second layer. So over here I've marked it with an X. I know that I want to cut this up. Now I've got legs drawn here. You might not be able to see those, but that's okay, because I can add those back in depending on how I want to do it. So here we go.
taking off the first layer of paper to reveal my cobblestone. <laughs> it's going to be a cobblestone. <laughs> sort of. You can see in the, the image the illusion of cobblestone. This is why I couldn't decide whether I'm going to cut back here or not, but I think I will cut this out. But you get the idea. You don't need to see me do all of it, but um, you got a chance to see some of it. So then if we put this on top, you can see the nice contrast of textures and layers and that's a lot of fun. Well, I have shown you how to observe your picture, look at it, decide what you want to cut away and what you want to build up. And it's going to be different for every picture um, and it's really, it's all in your creativity that it becomes yours. You, you own this picture and yes, you, you're getting your ideas from an artist, but you're an artist too, and now you get to take it to the next level. So have fun with it and, and really enjoy the process. If you liked this video, please be sure to give me the thumbs up and leave a comment below. Be sure to check for a link to all the videos that relate to this episode. And as always, thanks for stopping by. See you next time.